Hi everybody, I have a few things here today that I thought I could just talk about. Some of these things are brand new, um, some I've had for a little while and I've been working with them and I've been really loving them. So let's just talk about these things in this video. I have two notebooks here. So I've got a couple of notebooks, a couple of zipper pouches and some pens. So I thought I would just start with these two notebooks, which I'm, I'm really excited to get into these, but I am, I am really having to like pull the reins a, a lot a bit on my notebook collection and purchasing more things. So, uh, I've been doing pretty well with it lately. Um, I'm going to have to tighten up a little bit more in September, but these two notebooks were on my radar for the longest time and they were both out of stock for a really long time. So I've just had my eye on them. So, you know, my anticipation was growing and when they finally came back in stock, it was kind of like I couldn't even help it. I just had to get them. So this first one here, which is stinking adorable. It's uh, obviously a Totoro notebook and the sizing on this is kind of wonky. It's bigger than an A5 but just slightly and I will take this clear. Oh my gosh, look at the art in this thing. <laughs> this is from Jet Pens by the way. I will link everything in the description per usual uh, if you're interested in checking out any of these things. So the cover is actually quite plain and the writing is actually on this plastic part. I'm probably just going to keep this plastic until I can figure out something else to do with this. If I even want to cover it. I don't know. I haven't thought that far and it doesn't fit in any of the leather covers that I have. But you know, it's this really soft thing that you know is just going to get so dirty and... Uh, probably matted too. I don't know, the way I handle my stuff, you know this thing is just gonna not end up very nice, but I just had to have it because we love this movie, like my my kids and me. And uh, yeah, so this art in here, like on these end pages, uh, they're just so beautiful. And I mean, I had to buy this for sure. So every page has some type of artwork on it. And <laughs> this is so out of character for me, but this is a lined notebook. And you know, I just must love the theme of this book so much that I had to just get it anyway. I think lined paper is the devil. And oh, look at that. Oh, just just gorgeous like I don't mind the lines at all so I'm I don't know when I'm gonna use I don't know when I'm gonna use any of these things Look how cute yeah I'm so glad I finally got this they also have a uh, cat bus and it's I think it's like an orange or yellow background but I definitely had to get this one because this was stinking cute uh yeah I don't know when I'm gonna use most of this stuff it was just um it's just on deck, you know, to be used at some point. So this other thing, this is the GLP Creations, the author notebook. And I knew that I wanted this because I was in my Moleskine Expanded and this is the same size. Um, it's obviously not as thick, but it's uh, five inches across. So I've just become such a huge fan of that size. Okay, so here's the thing about this notebook i you can only buy it on amazon so i've been stocking this notebook since probably january and i just now got it because it just now came in stock they have a bunch of cover colors and this black one was sold out when I found out about this notebook. So I was just waiting for it to come back in stock and I follow them on Instagram and I even asked a question on one of their posts and asked when it was going to be back in stock on Amazon and they said not to worry, it'll be available next month. 
I wrote this in April. So May came around and there was still nothing. And then June, July, and I kept reading other people's comments asking when the majority of the colors were going to come back in stock. And every single time this company kept saying, oh, next month, next month. So they just kept pushing it off like each month. And so I almost didn't buy it because I was just getting really annoyed. Um, but then, of course, once it did come back in stock, I mean, they sent emails. They were posting like crazy because like it was finally there. And I ended up getting one because it was just way too enticing. And the specs of this book are just amazing. So first of all, this has the black cover and it has this brown edging, which actually kind of looks orange to me. It did in the photos too. And I really love that. I'm such a fan of a black cover anyway, but it looks so kind of retro with that. So it comes with this sleeve, which I guess you can house it in here to archive it once it's done. But let's be real, this is not going to fit back in here once I'm through with it. So uh, it comes with this card. It's just like a, a thank you card. And it has an index in the front or contents. So this is, I got the dot grid kind because of course, um, but it does come in lined and blank now, I believe, but it has an awesome dot grid in that they're really tiny dots and it's a really nice shade of gray. So it's not very um, intrusive and all of the pages are numbered, which is a really nice touch. And how many pages are here? There's 192 numbered pages. And this is 68 GSM Tomoe River paper. And that happens to be my favorite. I was kind of waffling for a little while between the 52 and the 68, but I do think ultimately 68 is, is my happy place. So it also comes with a sheet of blotting paper, which is a lovely addition and a back pocket and then it has a an elastic closure so this looks like leather but it is just like a faux looking material a faux leather material so I okay and then it has a bookmark where is it so a nice lovely silver bookmark for this color I'm not sure what color the bookmarks are for everything else but this elastic it is so tight like the only reason it's warped as much as it is is because I was really trying to stretch it and I find that even after I've been stretching it a lot it's really tight so much that it pulls in on the cover on the edges there and I don't know if I like that but also, if I'm honest, I'm really never going to use uh, this elastic anyway, because I'm just going to put it in a leather cover. So I'm, I'm glad that I finally got my hands on this. And if it goes well, I'll probably get more, except I have like a million other notebooks that I need to be using. So anyway, these are two notebooks that I got that were really highly anticipated by me, and I finally have them. And I don't know what the rush was because it's not like I'm going to use them tomorrow or anything. So uh, I also got these pens. And since I have been incorporating a lot more decor and just sprucing up the way that I journal, because it used to just be white paper and black ink, and that was it. Um, but since I wanted to add some decoration, I've been on the hunt for a set of colored pens uh, that I like. So these are the um, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Pens. And I'll, I'll go through these, but initially I had purchased these. These aren't even all of them. I've given them to my kids uh, to use, but they're Uniball Signo DX colored pens. And I use these for a little while for most of the time that I was in my moleskin expanded. And I don't know, I just didn't really like the colors, I guess, in the end, they were much too pastel for me. And 
I, I just wasn't really feeling it and I used them for, for a little while. So now my kids are enjoying them and I had been seeing these off and on. Um, I think I saw a video from like Tokyo Pen Shop where they had tested these out when they were new last year, I think. And so they were always on my radar. And what happened was I think I got uh, an email from Jet Pens saying that they had these in stock. So then I clicked over to it and I was so unhappy with my Uniball Signo ones that uh, these just filled the void that I, I needed to fill. So before I bought them off Jet Pens, I just paused and then I looked on Amazon and I actually found these on Amazon and that's where I purchased them. And they were about five or six dollars less than they were on uh, Jet Pens. And prices fluctuate, you know, especially on Amazon. So at the time I purchased these, it just happened to be a better deal there. So these are one millimeter nibs. And I went ahead and just swatched them out here. So uh, let's see if it'll pick up the glitter because I love the way these shine. So there's a base color like black obviously has red glitter in it if you see the shift in there and i love these i'm currently in a junk journal and i'm i'm loving how these perform over busy paper um like busy patterns on the papers and stuff so i'm thoroughly happy with these and I'm glad I got the whole set. I'm really enjoying using them. I like how they're bolder colors. They're richer and deeper than the pastel set that I had. So that's apparently more my speed. And also the reason I went with these because these colored pens were just a flat color. There wasn't any shift to them. They don't have glitter or anything like that. And uh, this was another reason I went ahead and just purchased these because I'm not regularly using a fountain pen, but I did get this uh, Twisby Eco and it's a medium nib. And this is filled with the, I'm going to butcher this, I should have looked it up, but the Emerald of Shiver, Emerald of Shivor ink. And I'm obsessed with this. So I can't wait to get into a notebook that will show off this ink and a couple of other samples that I've gotten that are full of sparkles. Uh, but because I loved writing with this ink when I could, I was just really attracted to inks that shift and have shimmer in them. And so obviously I was really attracted to this because I was just coming off of this. So I've been really, really happy with these and they write so smooth. And um, yeah, I just, I don't have anything bad to say about these. So I'm finally happy. I have a colored pen set that agrees with me. So the next, uh, well, the last thing that I have is I got a custom pouch order from Keely Reichman. So here they are. Now, um, I know this is like, it appears to be really random, but my husband's name is TJ. I mean, not his full name. We call him TJ. So uh, I was on Keely Reichman's Etsy shop and I was going through the reviews and someone had reviewed a pen pouch or a pen sleeve and it was made with this bag. It's a, a Trader Joe's bag, but it had I Heart TJ's on the front of that pen sleeve. And I was just immediately attracted to it and I knew that I needed to have that. So I messaged her and I screenshot that pen sleeve and I asked her if she had any more of those bags and if I could get some uh, zipper pouches made out of it and she was so quick to reply to me and she said I'm not sure which state that Trader Joe's bag came from but I'll have a look and I'll let you know and I don't shop at Trader Joe's so I'm not aware of anything about them but when she told me that then I then realized oh well there's 
there must be different bag patterns for each state. So then I went on the hunt and I ended up finding these on Amazon. So I just did a Google search, found out that this particular bag comes from New York. So then I went to Amazon and searched for the Trader Joe's New York bag. I found uh, a listing for it and it came with two bags. So I went ahead and bought it. And I uh, I had confirmed with Keely before that um, if I bought these bags, could I send them to her so she could make pouches for me? And she said yes and sent me the address. So once I got the bags off Amazon, I sent them to her. And then uh, she was on vacation for a little bit, but when she got back, she made them and here we are. And I am so happy with these. And when I requested uh, the pouches to be made from this bag, I said that I wanted uh, the I Heart TJs on the front and there's a cupcake also on the bag and my husband is such a sugar holic and I don't know I just thought everything was so perfect and so I asked her if she could incorporate that cupcake anywhere on here um so the only like major specific I wanted was to have this on the front and then the cupcake somewhere so she totally put the cupcake here which is just adorable like I love it and then I don't even remember this thing, but she totally put this here. Um, they're both the same, but I think that's so cute because I had told her I wanted this pattern because my husband's name was TJ. So I think it's so cute that she ended up putting this here too. I didn't even ask for that. Um, so I love these so much and I will say it is pricier to get a custom. Um, at the end of the day, it is because uh, paying for these, they were the exact same price as if you were to order one off the website. But I had to buy the bags myself off Amazon and then pay to ship them to her. So that was the extra cost. So this is a standard size, uh, like standard size traveler's notebook. And this is B6 slim size. And I feel like... I'm, well, standard is my favorite, so I know I get a lot of use out of that, but then I feel, I mean, I'm just guessing here, which is like such a bad thing to do, but I feel like I'm going to be in B6 Slim uh, a, along with standard size the most, like these are going to be my most used sizes, so I just asked for these two, and so thrilled. I'm so happy with this. She's my favorite zipper pouch maker, and this was such a smooth transaction, so uh, if you're interested in getting uh, a pouch made from a bag that you have, uh, definitely message her and then she will send you uh, whatever information that you need. And that is it from me for, for this time. I know that we're all getting prepared to place Hobonichi orders. Um, I am going to be okay this time I wasn't going to order anything, but then they came out with the day free, which just happens to be the exact planner that I would want, which is so weird. I still can't get over it, but uh, I will be purchasing three things. That is it. I looked at all the accessories and everything. Nothing really uh, jumped out at me. So I'm sticking with the same three things. And I will obviously have another video when I finally unbox that. And I look forward to seeing everybody else's unboxings too. This is such a fun time to be on YouTube and to see what everybody gets. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.